Six months ago, we purchased our first home. We were moving from Illinois to Florida. When we showed up, we realized it was completely rat invested, toxic and unlivable. It was absolutely disgusting. Within the first three days, we were already gutting the entire kitchen because there was a rat, roach, termite poop, absolutely everywhere it was so nasty for three months we didn't have a place to live we're hopping from airbnb to airbnb working our full-time jobs and cleaning and gutting the house to make it livable and safe after months of hard work and spending most of our savings we were able to move in but we haven't had a kitchen the entire time that we've lived here we don't even have a sink in the house but i am so excited because we're gonna be working with lowe's to completely renovate our kitchen we're starting from scratch okay so i'm gonna take you through the entire process and i just want to say thank you to lowe's for sponsoring this video i am so excited this is what our kitchen looks like right now it was actually completely gutted a few days ago but we were able to install the backer board to add the tile and then also some drywall we have gone to Lowe's almost every single day since we started working on this house and on the kitchen one of the reasons that we love it so much is that they have such a huge selection that anyone can design their dream kitchen on a budget so today we're gonna work on a checkered tile this one was actually rectangular originally um, and John had to cut it into squares this is the other tile we're gonna be using to create the checkered pattern this is the name of the white tile and this is the name of the black tile. So we're gonna mix this into this. Yeah, just pour it. John is doing the mortar and I'm laying all the tiles. I think we spent around seven hours total working on this. It took so long. You can see how dirty it is. Okay, we're gonna do a cleaning tutorial. Watch this. Look at this. This is like an infomercial. Wow, look at that. Just oh. look at it, wipe off. It's been a couple days since we finished the floor. We got done so late, I was honestly exhausted. We had never used black grout before. The actual process of working with it was really difficult compared to like the white grout because whenever we wipe, the black grout, it would literally just get on the white. It also kind of dried on quickly. That was a whole nother mess. Today is gonna be a busy day. We're basically gonna be mudding and taping all the drywall that we set up before. We still have to cover up that hole back there. They actually had to cut it open because they were replacing the ducts. When we found out that they were chewed up and disgusting with like rat poo and pee, it was so, so bad. Finished the walls, we got done sanding them. That's what that looks like now. We're testing cabinet colors on the walls. Also technically wall colors too. We're so excited because we're gonna install our cabinets. We got the first wall installed. This is all that's gonna be here. We have a little surprise for this area. And then now we're gonna start this side. This is the latest update. All the cabinets are installed. I am so, so excited. John is finishing up that one right now. We're gonna have a kitchen, which is insane. Every time we try to start a project, we would find something else wrong with the house and we're just constantly living in fear of like things going wrong. So the fact that our kitchen has come this far is just shocking. It's a miracle. It feels amazing. Like I feel so grateful to be working on this right now. It just, it doesn't feel real. It is the next day and we're gonna be painting the cabinet doors. We're adding a second coat. The first coat is done. It'll be a lot easier to see once we install it and it is bright outside because it is the cloudiest day on earth. But we are finally done painting the cabinets. It took three coats for every single thing. Look at the color. Look at how nice they are. We are gonna be using butcher block for our countertop and we got the Allen Raw unfinished butcher block and we got a four foot piece and a eight, eight foot, foot piece. piece. <laughs> it feels perfect. This is ready to be finished so we don't have to sand it or do any work. It literally comes ready just like this. And this was like such a good option if you need a countertop last minute or like you're doing some renovations but you don't wanna wait five weeks or spend a lot of money. This was super affordable and just 
a really, really good option. They also had one that was also already stained if you don't really want to stain it or if you really like a dark color. That honestly loves is just the best in general just because you literally go there and you can get anything you want. So we got our sink from the car. This is the kind we got. It's called Sanborn Allen and Roth. John is now measuring the sink and looking at the template to make sure that we make the right cuts on the butcher board. Here you can kind of see the look of it better. It's actually super smooth. There's really no texture. It is a little warmer tone so it's gonna look perfect with our cabinets and just everything. We are starting the cutting process. And soon we're gonna have a hole and we'll be able to install it. Got it cut and we are lifting it into place. It looks like a real countertop. We installed the countertop and now John is tidying. We're thinking of using the early American, but we're gonna test it first in a couple pieces to make sure that this is the color we want before we do the entire butcher block. These two are the same stain. It is the early American, and this doesn't have the pre-stain, and this does. And you can see how this one's not blotchy at all. So I'm really glad we tested this because now we see that it is definitely worth to do this one over that one. So John went ahead and put the pre-stain all over this. We basically have to let it sit for five to 15 minutes, and then we just wipe off whatever's left. I can't believe this is ours. The countertops have been installed, stained. They're perfect. I'm so glad we went with something warmer to like bring out the warmth in the kitchen. We're gonna do the same thing with the backsplash, which we're installing today. I honestly just can't believe we're at this step already because we started two weeks ago and we already have all this done, which it doesn't look like much, but it actually took a long time and it was a lot of work. These are all the tiles that are laid out. You can see they're different color, so they're gonna look so, so nice. This is the number. These are the dimensions. We encountered this little problem where you can see these squares. Those are the labels behind the marbles. We're hoping that they kind of dry off. We actually started peeling them. John's been working on peeling literally all of them. The color, the style, all of it is so beautiful. We're just tweaking about the little boxes. But other than that, it looks perfect. Daytime now, so I can show you what the backsplash looks like. It is so beautiful. Also, little stickers disappeared from the tiles. So scared that it would be dried on completely, but they all went away and we didn't even have to peel off basically all the ones on this wall, so it all worked out. It's all grouted and sealed. It is so perfect. You can see all the different colors. It just looks so, so pretty. And today we're gonna be skim coating this entire wall, but you can see how bad the texture is and it looks horrendous. We also have a bunch of different pieces of drywall that we had to install because of the damage. And for this, we're gonna be using the same stuff we always use for the drywall. This is the texture of the walls right now. I mean, look at this. This is what the wall looks like right now before painting. We're gonna be adding some wood ceilings to this. We got some shiplap and we already stained it and we're gonna hopefully install it tomorrow. So then the day after that, we're gonna install all the lights and I'll unbox everything that we use. But basically today we're gonna be painting. The color is Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams. My brother's working on taping off the wall so that we can start painting and protect all the backsplash. And we're basically gonna paint everything that's purple. My entire shirt is covered in like drywall and paint. Tomorrow, we're gonna be installing the wood ceiling and we're doing that because we have popcorn ceiling. I think it's gonna change the entire kitchen. It's just gonna look so nice. We are installing the wood ceilings on the popcorn. So these are the wood pieces. We already stained them a few days ago. So this is the wood piece we have here and the stain is this color. It's the same as our countertops, but it will look a little bit lighter. And it's basically only gonna go up to there just because we're gonna add some paneling at the top. We are still working on installing, but we're almost done. We're just feeling really lucky right now just because my siblings are here and they're able to help us and that has been life-changing. So it's been amazing, but they are leaving soon and I don't even know if we'll be able to finish the kitchen by the time they leave. So I hope we do so that way they can see the kitchen when it's completely done because they got to work on it and 
I don't know, it's just exciting to like see it come together and they got to be a part of it. We got to do this all together, the four of us. Okay, today's a very important day because we are gonna be installing the light fixtures. We got a chandelier, a sconce, and a ceiling light that's gonna go right here. So my brother is working on figuring out how to mount it all. We already have the holes, everything that's needed to do this. And now we just have to unbox everything and install it. And this is what the chandelier looks like. This is one of the sconces that we got. It is glass here and then we just got this vintage bulb and it's a warm light and I'm gonna turn it on. Look at that, it is so cute. This is a chandelier that we also just got and they're all brass finish. Look at this. It is just a cozy, warm vibe over here. Finally, we have this light. This one's a little bit brighter than these two. We wanted these two to be more cozy. It actually looks white on camera, but it's not. And we got all of these from Lowe's.com. We just ordered them and they came to our house. We're so close to being able to like cook and eat in here. And like, I'm really seeing it just come together and I'm just so, so happy. Our sink is installed. It works completely now. John just got done with all the plumbing and look at it. It is covered up right now just because we're working on putting these panels up there to hide all of that and like, conceal it that way we don't have to worry about anything like crawling up there ugh, ugh. the fact that we can even use a sink right now is just shocking this is the first sink in the house and i'm just so happy we've been brushing our teeth and washing our hands in the shower so having the sink here is going to be amazing until we have time to go finish the bathroom this is from moen and look it's so pretty it works this is actually my first time turning it on and i'm doing it on camera it goes so well with the rest of our kitchen and it just brightens it all up okay we are finally installing the panels that go above the kitchen cabinets basically john cut all the pieces we painted everything the same color as the cabinets we basically had the ac ducts running through the kitchen from the attic into the mudroom so it made that awkward space so we've had to work around it but john is figuring is it out Here's a better look. You can see how beautiful that looks. There's still a, a bunch of spots that need to be touched up, like all that wood filler. We need to repaint all of that. We've been trying to work around that piece and John just installed that crown molding, but he's gonna have to add another filler piece there. It'll look good. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look so good. There's wood filler all around it and we're gonna fix it up, paint it, sand it, do all of that today. We also have these pieces of trim here. My brother painted them earlier and they're just painted the same color as our wall, which is Sherwin-Williams Greek Villa. And he's also painting the door. Today's the day we're finally unboxing our appliances. They have been sitting in our living room for six months now because we ordered them before we even moved to Florida and found out all the issues with the house. We're gonna install them today. We're gonna open them, see what they look like. Every single step that we've taken has just completely made such a big change. And the fact that we're gonna have appliances tonight, I'm shocked and this corner cabinet so beautiful my brother like repainted it today floors is what they look like they've been covered for a long time but today we vacuumed and mopped them we're also gonna set up a table here that we got from lowe's this is a table that we got you can see it in daylight i'm so happy it's just oh my gosh like to have a working fridge in here let me show you look at that all we have to do is put this back in there fill in like any holes paint John is creating a template right now, so that way all the knobs are gonna be in the exact same spot when we install them. These are the little brass knobs that we got. They match our light fixtures, so they're just brass. Today's the day. I'm finally gonna show you what our kitchen looks like. Before I show you what the kitchen looks like, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Lowe's. This would not have happened right now without them. We had no idea when we'd actually be able to work on a kitchen and be able to cook and eat here. And thanks to Lowe's, we were able to get the most beautiful products, the tile, the backsplash, the countertops, like everything is just so so beautiful and it's better than I could have ever imagined before this I had no idea how amazing all the options are at Lowe's they have so many different types of tiles countertops literally anything you could possibly want it's at Lowe's and you get to customize it make it however you want to but everything in my kitchen you can find at Lowe's you can just go online or go into the store so ah! I will also link every single product down below and trim the same color as the walls. For the walls, we did Sherwin-Williams Greek Villa. Here's a wood ceiling. So because we had that duct up there, John had to custom build this 
corner cabinet and this is how it turned out. We just painted it the exact same color as the rest. We did all crown molding and trim up there. I was so scared about how it was gonna turn out, but it is so beautiful. The floors and the appliances and oh my gosh, I'm just so in love. This is a wine rack that John and I designed so we can put all our wine in there because we had a little gap, so. That's what we decided to do with it. This is the sink we got and it came with a cutting board, a grid, and also like a rolling drying mat. You can see the entire kitchen all at once. It is so gorgeous. I'm so in love. I can tell you right now, this is the happiest I have been since we got to this house. Like I have never experienced so much joy. John worked so hard on this kitchen. Like we both just put everything into it and we were just so ready to finally have a place to eat where we feel comfortable and it's clean and every single thing in here is new and fresh and we don't have to worry about anything. So we're just so happy. Thank you so much to Lowe's once again for sponsoring this video, for sponsoring this kitchen. We're just so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I'm just so happy. Bye.